welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm uh, here today on a food rampage. Sometimes you wake up with the desire to have a specific food. I woke up today with a huge craving for food. I'm here with my uh, good friend uh, Marcus James, lives in the area, and we're going to be going on a quick uh, food and hummus tour in the middle of the afternoon. We're starting in a place called Al Ayad, it's just outside the Damascus Gate, and then we're going to head inside the Damascus Gate and check out a better known place called Lina. And they both do fool. My opinion is that if you're looking for a good fool, Madamas, slow cooked fool, the place to come is, is to East Jerusalem. Uh, so we're here, we're going to check out uh, the food options. Full Madamas. Full Madamas, Supra. Absolutely amazing. So we've just finished up here in Al Ayad. The fool was full of the taste of garlic. Um, there's a, some of the fava beans are full and some are this kind of almost like liquidy consistency but they give you a uh, side dish of hot sauce called an Arabic shata and you just kind of mix it all in and make this delicious thing. So this was our first feed. After a fool you are certainly full. Just inside the uh, old city by Damascus Gate, there's a place called the Remo and Himo Brewery, and they do uh, Taiba beer, which is one of the two main Palestinian beers. The other one's a beer called Shepherds. Taiba is just outside Ramallah, and they have their own Oktoberfest. So this is one of the places you can uh, find it on draft here for about uh, 20 shackles. I come to buy my coffee in Jerusalem. It's a place called Iziman. It's on Khan Azaid Street, just inside the old city. They sell uh, finely ground Turkish coffee with cardamom. They grind it. They grind it here on premises. There's also a very good place called Sanduka, and in my opinion, these two are the best places if you're into Turkish coffee, Arabic coffee, places to buy Iziman's. It's impossible to visit the Muslim quarter of the old city or really anywhere in the old city without picking up some Arabic coffee. They make this fresh with coffee that is rich with the scent of uh, cardamom and they just brew it in a uh, finjan. So here's Marcus. Cheers mate. We're enjoying our time uh, checking out the old city and this is something that when people live in Jerusalem you neglect to see this. It's truly one of the most amazing places of the world. We're going to check out a quick art gallery then continue on our way after some refreshing coffee. Unfortunately, uh, Lena's restaurant closes at four o'clock, so we've missed it for the day. But we found a uh, juice vendor here. I'm having some pomegranate juice. One of the really interesting things about fruit and vegetables in Israel is the produce is very, very seasonal. So just before Rosh Hashanah, which is coming up soon, which in Arabic is called Ras El Sana, a very cognate language, uh, the pomegranate season um, has arrived. So we're getting some juice now. We're going to check out the view from the Austrian hospice uh, while we're in this part of the old city.
We're here at the uh, top of the Austrian hospice which affords one of the most beautiful views of all the old city. It's just after the uh, call to prayer here you can see the Austrian flag behind me. So Marcus was telling me that this was built for Austrian pilgrims. A lot of the church property in the city that serves as accommodation including Notre Dame was actually built by churches or by chapters of churches in order to provide accommodation for them while they were making their pilgrimages to Jerusalem. But nowadays, of course, they're uh, open, thankfully, to people of all religious beliefs. There is a five shackle charge to get up to the rooftop here. It's about one dollar. Absolutely worth it for what one of the most beautiful views. And uh, if you want to come with the call to prayer, you can also time your visit accordingly. And you can see all, all here over across East Jerusalem, the Seven Arches Hotel there up on the uh, on the east, we can see the Al-Aqsa Mosque, uh, the Temple Mount. Uh, in fact, I can see it behind me in the camera here. So uh, for uh, history fans, there's uh, a lot to do here. Oh, 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 oh,